Hello and welcome to the Telegraph Studios and the Business Reporter Series. I'm Alistair Greener and today I'm going to be talking to Ian Yaw from All Change about how to improve business performance. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Alistair. So let's say that I'm a head of technology at a major organisation and I recognise that I need to institute change. The question is, where do I start? There are a number of hot topics out there in terms of challenges, such as getting the right operating model, going digital, digitalizing your organization, um, business insights, and business intelligence. Uh, these, these challenges are, are quite um, very much on the forefront of, of executives' minds. Um, but it's really important to understand the motivation behind this, which is about cost, cash, risk, profits. The, these motivations, these drivers are, are actually what's what, what the purpose of what the executive is trying to achieve. But it's really important to understand when you're thinking about where you start, what the underlying challenge is that you really need to address, which is fundamentally about people. And this is about how you engage with the organization. You cannot execute unless you engage. You cannot, um, unless people are on board and unless there's understanding. Um, direction, it's really important that people understand where they're going and what the purpose of the initiative is, um, as well as building a consensus view. Now I know you have a rather different approach to uh, dealing with this and you've brought your artist along here. Perhaps you can tell us exactly what he's going to be doing for us. Research in, in the market around visual thinking and the value of visual thinking when you're working with the executives to develop their strategies, to understand actually where they are, where they want to go, how they get there. It's very common in the marketplace that graphic artists are used um, to, that in real time capture the, the, the conversations that are occurring in the room so that it actually aids memory, um, helps follow through going forward, also in, increases participation and engagement in the room because it's very powerful to actually see what you're talking about and have it recognised and replayed back to you. So he's going to be basically giving us our strategy but in a visual form? Correct, correct. And what he's going to be drawing, he's basically going to be capturing very much of the conversation we're having today. Wow, I'm looking forward to seeing the results of that. But in the meantime, while he carries on drawing, perhaps you can talk me through some of the major challenges that would typically face an organisation today. Absolutely. I, I mentioned earlier um, operating model. Th this is a key challenge uh, for many executives. Um, we, we have, um, uh, we, we recognise in the marketplace that there are a, a number of uh, changes that are occurring with, with disruptive technology, the pace of change. Getting the right operating model that's sustainable is, is critical and it's something that is very heavily pursued in the market. With respect to that, it's really important that you take an outcome-based view in how you build that model. And What does that mean? It means actually that you understand how your organization is operating, understand the people within that organization, how they're interacting with each other, the relationships that are occurring, uh, the responsibilities that are occurring with the different parts of the business, and not just internally but also externally. And until you have that clear, real view, real snapshot of what's occurring in your organisation, it's very, very difficult to get the right operating model built. Okay, so given this kind of approach, maybe you could give us your thinking behind it and why it particularly works. Absolutely. One, one approach of, of many uh, that, that I used uh, are using things like storyboards and, and scenarios uh, and this is one of the techniques that, that, that we have here. The context of this is it's uh, uh, within the part of one aspect of the operating model is the, the, an organization is developing a shared service. When you're actually trying to develop that shared service you really want to understand how the different roles interact with the operating model, the types of processes, the types of interactions, the types of uh, activities that you need to do and to be able to do that the best way is to visualize and so this here is a storyboard and, and in this case you have a customer budget holder and what it does is it walks through uh, the uh, the way that the budget holder interacts with this this shared service portal and how they actually resolve the challenges and overcome the issues and how they utilize it to the benefit of the organization you have a budget holder stakeholder uh, they've they've uh, got a problem here it looks like there's a possible overspend uh, and what we have here is we have the story being tracked through with some clear notes below which are communicating the so what of each scene. And what, what's really important to see here is that you have a, a core stakeholder going through but also the interactions that are occurring. And with this there are two levels of messaging. There's a strategic message which is about, you know, if I'm going to be investing in a shared service, um, what's it going to make better? 
you know, how is it going to improve on the experience? Is it going to make my people more productive? Uh, is, it, is it going to help profitability? Is it going to help save costs? Um, but from a, from a user experience, is how does the shared service improve the life and improve the service that we're providing to our customers as well? And it's a very plain language, very clear way of actually being able to articulate the so what of actually how business, uh, how uh, the finance function will interact with the operating model and interact with um, the, the shared service. Okay, so what's the connection between this approach and all of the challenges that you were talking about earlier on? The key challenge is um, when, when executives are, are, are developing their strategy, uh, that they're, they're formulating um, their, their plans, quite often they don't have sight of the business reality. They don't have sight of what's actually really going on in their organization. Um, and when you're actually doing your design and when you're actually starting to write it down and you're starting to think about what it is you're trying to achieve, that lack of, of sight can cause them some big challenges. Um, basically, your thinking is based on inaccurate, potentially, on inaccurate assumptions, assertions, and stereotypes. And if that's the case, that presents huge risk with the investment and time and effort that you're putting into to, to the change that you're doing. Okay, so you've talked about the challenges, you've talked about a different approach to actually looking at it. Maybe now you can tell us a little bit more about all change and how you marry the two up together and provide companies with a, a service that helps them. Absolutely. Um, may I give you a metaphor which, which hopefully simplifies sure. this? If, if you think of the brain, the left and, and the right hemispheres, um, the, the left hemisphere is about action, logic. The right hemisphere is vision, creativity. Mm. As human beings, the only way we can actually get the left and the right side of our brain to work together is, is a very clever piece of kit called the corpus callosum. And what it does is it allows left and right to work together, action and vision to work together, and it helps us function. And when it gets damaged, we, we struggle to, to function normally. How all change operate, we actually become an, our, our, our organizations, our clients' corpus callosum. We actually help vision and action to work together. And as part of that, what we do is, is we help them uh, develop their strategy with creative techniques, building consensus, uh, helping to model their thinking, challenge and develop and build out their thinking, but more importantly, to land their thinking so it's understandable, it's clear. And that process of lowering uh, the language and, 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 and grounding the thinking in terms of what's really going on in your business is very powerful and very valuable. But we also help with the change aspect, which is about uh, adoption. So. Um, turning this thinking into messaging so that everybody in the organization, the key stakeholders that you choose you want to talk to, that they clearly understand, they can identify with, and they can believe in what they're trying to achieve. And, and to achieve that, you can't execute unless you engage. So we use a number of tools and techniques to help crystallize the thinking, to help build out the thinking. And we use techniques like story, because story is a great way to, uh, to create the container for people's thinking, and it's a very easy way to pass and make that thinking accessible. Uh, and we use visual thinking because it takes away jargon and technical management speak, consulting speak, like I sometimes fall into, which can actually become a barrier for people to understand what you're trying to achieve. So it's really about everyone getting it, everyone working on the same page. So those three elements, which is strategy, change, and engagement, actually they're all integrated. They're all congruent in one, one element of what we provide. Well, it's a fascinating approach and certainly very different to anything I've seen before. And actually, I see that your artist here has um, made some uh, headway there. Perhaps you can talk a little bit about what he's um, drawn up so uh, far. Um, absolutely. So um, our graphic artist, Lance, uh, he, he's actually capturing the first element of what we do, which is about strategy. And what you'll see here is you have a number of key stakeholders around, around this cloud and in the middle, you have the ideas, the thinking. That, so it could be your technical uh, concepts, your strategic ideas, uh, your creative ideas, whatever it is, at, all being contained together. Now, individually, we, we have value. But when you actually get a group of the right people in the right room, creating a really high quality, knowledge rich environment, you can actually improve on that thinking and it becomes more powerful. And so this, this is, this is a, a, an illustration of how we actually go about helping executives to develop, build out their thinking so they can execute better. And because people see a picture like this, they relate to the whole concept better, I presume. Absolutely. What it also does is it, it helps with follow through. If the process of the picture is about helping the organization get where they need to go, not because it's just a pretty picture. We try to make it look pretty. <laughs> but it's really important that the content is meaningful, is very rich in detail. And it actually can be referred to in, in two, three, four, five months. I mean, there are clients that we've worked with in the past that five years down the road are still referring to the visuals that we create to help them to execute. 
And so, that, so do visuals actually stay in our minds longer than words, perhaps? Uh, I believe the research is something like 60,000 times faster in terms of how we take on board information. Um, visuals also connect to our emotional side. And, and, and fundamentally, when you're talking about change and you want people to get on board, to buy in, they need to care. I mean, there's a very famous saying that I don't care how much you know until I know how much you care. It's really important that you inject emotion, meaning, purpose into what you do. And there's nothing like visuals, nothing like pictures for you to achieve that. But it's really important that the, the pictures don't control you. It's actually the pictures having its place in you formulating your strategy to execute. OK, I mean, the drawings are fantastic and really do illustrate what you're talking about. But I'm thinking that some people might say to you, hang on a second, this all looks great, but where's the substance? That's, that's a bang on question. We get challenged with that quite, quite regularly. If I, if I was to characterize very simplistically, uh, are you familiar with orienteering? Sure. Yeah, compass yep. and a map. Mm -hmm. Uh, the compass is to give you clarity of direction, and the map is to let you understand where you are in, in the geography and with the moving parts. We produce uh, two uh, value adds uh, to, that help um, our clients navigate, uh, change, help them execute strategy. Uh, the compass, we provide a, um, a strategic narrative or a corporate story. And, and with the map, we create uh, a detailed big picture, which gives you an overview of everything that's going on in the organization in context of whether it be a going digital or operating model, uh, an organization transformation, new change in culture, that, whatever it is you want it to be. But also, so whilst you have the big picture, what it also does is it allows you to have the deep dive understanding of what's going on at an organizational team, an individual level. And I would say the most important messaging is the individual messaging, understanding where people fit, understanding what's expected of them, understanding of actually the other teams and the other, organi other, other elements of the organization that you're manning up with and, and working alongside. So in the context of the compass and the map, what we do is, is the value add is not just in terms of the, the end product, uh, whether it be a, a story or whether it be a big picture or whether it be a combination thereof, is actually the value of the process of us working with you, the collaborative, knowledge-rich environments that we provide, that our methodology that our clients adopt. And what we do is we provide value throughout that journey. And we crystallize this in, in um, it, we give you a document, we call it, it's called a visual reference pack. So each of the workshops that we will have, and generally with, a, with uh, our engagements, you'll have maybe two, three, or four you know, key workshops which will help drive out the, the output thinking. Uh, and at the end of these workshops, we provide a, a document which captures absolutely everything in terms of value thinking, crystallized both in pictures and in words and in narrative. And what we do is we convert it into an electronic document, we cut it up, and you can then use these different outputs during uh, the project as part of your engagement to help follow through activity and delivery. Well, it's a refreshingly different approach, so uh, it's been great to find out more about it. Our thanks to Lance, our wonderful artist, and uh, all I can say is uh, thank you very much indeed. Ian Ewer from All Change, thank you. Thanks for inviting me.